Hey guys, it's George here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Baofeng 666S two-way transceiver. Okay, so what we have here is the Baofeng 666S, the BF666S. Here's the unit right there, as you can see. The the build quality is very nice. You have your um, you have your external microphone cover right here. Uh, one thing I will say is on the the six the eight 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 s has much easier external mic cover to open at for whereas the six 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 s does not. The design is fairly simple. You got your volume knob here. You got your channel and you have a little flashlight not very bright um, I'll demonstrate that in a sec but and then you have your antenna socket it comes with a belt clip on the back here it has two Phillips head screws you will need to screw this in some of the radios that you buy from Balfour might have a screwdriver but this one does not as well as the 888S Neither of those have a screwdriver with the kit. The battery I like. It's got a nice slide out design. Um, let's see. It is 1500 milliamp hours. Um, you have a nice... Come on, there we go. You have a nice um, metal chassis right here to go along with it it's it you know it's got good build quality there that's going to help protect the internals especially for, on impact or anything so it's it's a very durable radio to use um you have your charger prongs and here's the charger um this is a standard it does not have a separate ac adapter this one has it built into the actual unit and so the when you plug it in, charger, light turns red. When it's green, it's fully charged. You have your two prongs. Now what I like about Baofeng right is, is if you have several spare batteries, you can just have several chargers. Now, as you know, it's not plugged in. That's one thing I never really could understand, but even if the if not if it's not plugged in, the green light will still come on. But once you plug it in, if the battery is not fully charged, it will go red. So don't get fooled. But there's the charger unit. It's fairly easy. But you can still simply charge it. Now with the Baofeng radios on the handheld ones for the BF series, you need to just push up and then back to click in the battery unit so you want to get it in the slot here you have your press to talk button here um I believe let me that's flashlight the bottom one is the flashlight and of course with your programming software you can completely change the settings um and the top one I have it programmed for a monitor and so there's there's that setting you can also program a siren for it to use the siren or whatever I don't have it set to that because quite frankly I don't need it and the weird thing is you can't set program B's radios to transmit the siren it will only over, over a frequency it will only transmit the siren just coming from the loudspeaker so you're not actually letting any other radio users know, hey, I'm trying to get your attention, or hey, I need something. So it's not too useful. Um, a, the antenna, fairly simple, just a little high gain antenna. It says high gain. One thing that I have done is I went on Amazon and for about 10 bucks. And again, if you're going to go buy this stuff, buy it in bulk, or if you don't have Amazon Prime, you're going to pay a lot of money for shipping. 
So you're going to end up spending $20 on stuff when you don't need to. Anyways, so I got the 14 inch Nagoya NA771 144 to 430 megahertz antenna. Well, I don't think it's going to read. No. It was, um, this antenna is way better than that one. It will pick up so much better. These, now let me tell you about, now the, with these radios, you can program these to work with any two-way radio, a toy walkie-talkie, anything, as long as you have a frequency chart from the corresponding radio that you wish to communicate with, you can get these to intercommunicate with just about anything. And, except, you know, for like a CB radio, as long as it's a two-way UHF, VHF radio, or any type of UHF, VHF radio, it will communicate with it. You just have to have be within range and have the right frequency. That's all. Um, I currently have two main cha channels that I've created. Um, I actually use these sometimes. I'll show you the one that I use right now currently, but I used to use this for my work, and they had Motorola CLS 110s. And, you know, of course they give it to you, they let it use, they let you use it and all that because that's, that's just part of the gig. But after using it for so long, they're just cheap walkie-talkies. And that's the thing, they're $200 radios, they are not worth $200 at all. The batteries always died, the antennas or torn off and the see that's the thing this is sixteen dollars it has all these options you can you can have and everything and even though it doesn't have an LCD compared to the Motorola it still talks to you Power on. One. so they'll do all that stuff alright and again see that you have the interchangeable antennas so if you're Unlike the Motorola's, if you break an antenna, you can replace it. With the Motorola, you break it, you cannot replace the antenna. The radio is just, it's either going to work or it's not. So that's the 88, the 666S. And I will bring you a review and of the 888S. And then I'll do a comparison of the two on another video review. Alright, don't forget to thumbs up on the video. Like and don't forget to subscribe and I hope everybody has a good day.